Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 on the multiplayer modded server. Now Tom's on, uh, Jaypro was on a second ago, he had to go update his drivers for his graphics card. And so far, I'm doing good at finding other ores, but I'm not picking them up because I'm on the search for iron. I haven't found too much, I got 20 right there and then I got 19 smelted. So this should be enough to get started with, uh, uh, thermal expansion. Now, what we're gonna wanna start off with, we wanna pulverize our iron since we don't have that much so we can double our output. So we're gonna need to make the pulverizer even though, like it's weird, they don't have the normal pulverizer but you have to like, you have to click on the resident one and then you have to go to the basic one. Well, actually, you have to go over. Here is the basic one. So we need a basic machine frame if it would stop and copper gears, uh, redstone reception coil, Ooh, do we have flint? I don't even know. We're gonna need some pistons. Uh, probably get three pistons for right now. Ooh, all right, redstone. We got cobblestone. Um, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna probably need some gold too. Uh, some wood. And if you're wondering why that's floating, I dug down a lot. And then I'll dig down more. We're not gonna have a house for a little while. I need to get a machine that will help me dig down more. Uh, let's see here. Spruce wood. Now we got our redstone. We got that. Do we have any flint? We have one piece of flint. Let's, uh, just keep breaking this one piece of... Until we get a piece of flint. Now, we're going to be making this, and then we're going to make steam dynamos, I think would be best, since we're going to be located on the water. I can probably just dig straight down here and then make a pipe down to an... Oh wait, no. You can just make an aqueous accumulator. Forgot about that. Just put two things beside it. Okay, do you get a higher chance of flint if you use a shovel? I don't even know. There we go. Alright, so we got that. Got that. Got that. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here. Now, piston. Let's get three of them. Because why not? Uh, let's do that. Two, one, two. Now let's get one, two, three. And oh wait, no, that goes yeah, right there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All right, three pistons, and then we're gonna need that machine frame. How do you make the machine frame? Let's see, do they just have it on here somewhere? So I can click on it. Yeah, machine frame basic. Uh, tin gears. All right, so I'm gonna need some tin gears, some glass. Ooh, I forgot about that. Um, let's go ahead and morph my bat right quick. Go hop down over there. Probably get some sand. Oh, there's some sand. Oh, I hate it when it does that. It scares me. Just drop down. Pick up some sand. How much is that? Nine. I need a good bit, I think. All right, 22, let's get one more, actually. There we go, 24. Can make us, uh, six machine frames if we cook this all up. All right, let's go up here, get all that cooking. Now, while we're waiting for that, hmm, do we need machine frames in these dynamos? No, we don't. All right, so we just need some copper uh, transmission coil. Uh. Silver. We're gonna need a couple more furnaces. Oh, he's calling me. Hold on, forgot to go and do another server. All right, sorry guys. Where was I? My other recording group for Daisy was calling me, but I'm gonna finish this up before I go in there. Um, now what exactly was I doing? I was going to make extra furnaces. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. All right, two extra furnaces right there. Let's grab out just a ton of coal. All right, now let's see here. Machine frame basic. You got the glass cooking up. Uh, we could use some tin and copper. All right, that'll do, that'll do. So it's some tin, copper right there. Tin, we should have tin somewhere. There it is. We're not gonna put all of it in there. It's just, we're gonna need four. Let's see here. 
four. We're gonna need... Yeah, just four right now would work. Let's get four cooked up, and then let's get... Oops, one. Oops, come on. There we go, one copper. Um... Yeah, around one piece of copper. Iron, yeah, I know this is going insufficiently, but you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and check what we need for this. This is the basics. Oh, yeah, I almost seemed to know. Alright, so, ooh, we're gonna need more copper. We're gonna need four, so eight, so 16 copper if I have 16 copper. I should have a ton in here. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna need 16 copper, so, get down to 16. I need that. All right, 16 copper. Oh, uh, plus four more. So we can go ahead and get some stuff going. All right, and then we're gonna need. Oh, that's copper too. We're gonna need one more for each. All right, we have just enough copper. It looks like. Piece of redstone. We're gonna need some silver cooked up. All right, give me that ten. I'm gonna need some silver. Do I have any silver in here? Silver in here. Uh, silver. We're gonna need two. Two silver. All right, we're doing pretty well. We're gonna need that glass. Uh, we're gonna need to make these ten gears. Give me that glass. Uh, ten gears. So we're gonna need to put a piece of copper. And I have no tin on me. Oh yeah, I do. Right there. I'm going to grab that out. Grab that out. All right, uh, copper, tin. I needed more tin, didn't I? Crap, all right. We're gonna need four more pieces. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on. Machine frame, oh no, I only needed one. Boop, nope, all right. So I got that, need that in the middle, need the glass right here, and then the iron on the four corners. Gets me on my machine frame. Then I need two transmission coils, like so. And then I need those copper gears. Uh, let's go ahead and see, what do I need for that pulverizer? Pulverizer. All right, redstone reception coil, so we need gold. Need two more copper gears, so I need eight copper. Alright, we're gonna probably run out of copper here. Let's make the machine before we make the power supply first. So we're gonna need some gold. Let's go ahead and pull out some of that. Just go ahead and get eight. Oh, whoops. Eight. Put that up there. Alright, so... What else can we make in the process? We can go ahead and make those copper gears. God bless America. There we go. Two copper gears. And then we got our pistons and such. Give me that gold. Go ahead and get that reception coil. Alright, reception coil, basic machine frame, two copper, piece of redstone, and the reception goes right there. And then that's two of these bad boys. And then is it redstone at the top or is it iron? No, what the heck went there? What the heck? Pulverizer. Oh, the piston. Yeah, I forgot about the piston. All right, sweet. Pulverizer. All right, there's that. Now let's figure out how we're going to do the steam dynamos. No, not the reactant. Don't need that yet. Uh, steam dynamos. So it's just a ton of copper. Hold on. Two of those. Two of those. So we got the copper, we got the pistons, need one more piece of copper, and then like that, like that, like that, I'm pretty sure. Wow, I got that all jacked up. Alright, steam dynamo, there we go. Now we got those things. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get a little machine thing going here. Uh, let's just make it sort of just sitting out here. Uh, no, I kind of wanted that. Need a wrench. Thermal expansion creative tabs. Thermal expansion tools. All right, we're gonna need 
Do we want to make a crescent hammer or do we want to make a build craft wrench? It's a crescent hammer. Oh yeah, it's easy. Just iron and tin. Should have some iron. Don't have any tin though. Oh, my mouse is kind of freaking... I can't wait for my new mouse to come in. Oh, yeah, that's Tinker Construct uh, crafting station, if you didn't know already. It holds your items in there, and then it can check adjacent inventories. Now, we need this wrench so that we can pick up these things safely. You just crouch and hit the right hit right uh, mouse button. And then you can also orientate them. So we're going to need to go ahead and put our pulverizer down. Orientate this bit. Oh, there it goes. You good? Alright, yeah. Just a little lag on the server. Alright, now what we're gonna need in here, the Steam Dynamo, is uh we're gonna need to put in coal here, and then we're gonna also need to put in liquids. So that's gonna happen. Now it does have redstone activation. We're gonna enable it on high so that we can just flick it on and off. Alright, what else do we got? Uh now we're gonna need to make a bucket. Okay, we're still running pretty good on iron. Alright, let's get this set up. And then I'll show you what the pulverizer does. And again, it does that falling thing. Alright. Now, just grab all that. That should fix itself. Yep. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Let's make an infinite water source up here. Oh, I need to eat something. Uh, steak. I swear, steak has so much saturation. It's unbelievable. It's nice, but unbelievable. Alright, back up. And boop. There we go. Nice infinite water supply. We're just gonna fill it up by hand. Isn't that great? I think it only takes four water. Oh. I don't like that. That's the only bad part. Yep, it only takes four buckets full. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, now, we're also going to fix this season thing with witchery later on. We're going to fix our little area here to not be snow. Because I hate how it's like forest right there and then snow up here. We'll fix that. Alright, so now we have water and now we can start producing some redstone flux. Which is what he gives off. It gives out a max of 80 per tick. Which is actually really good. Uh, just grab out a good bit of coal. Just grab out like maybe that much. And then we plop it in there. And then it should start generating once we make a redstone. Oh, we'll, we'll make a lever. And give it a high. There we go. And it starts producing it. And now we should be getting redstone in here. Now, what you do is you just put in stuff, and actually what I can do right now, yeah, that'll be a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a chest, like so. So now you can see these little sides right here. Now, as you can see, the red right here, or the orange, whatever you want to call that, and the yellow, they will get put out, that's the output, and that's on the right side. Let's go ahead and make the configuration. Let's try to find the color that's both of them. Is that, that one's both of them. Alright, so that on the right side, it will spit out into this chest, whatever is made. Now, anything blue, it'll be able to accept stuff from there. So, like, if I had a hopper on the top of this, which I could actually show, uh, not what I meant, I just can't, or is it that? Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, hopper. Alright, if we grab a hopper, so that's, oh, I don't have enough iron. But if I had a hopper and I stuck it on the top there, then I would be able to put stuff there and it'll automatically fill into this blue slot right here. And they added a new thing, augmentation. So this is like little things that you can put in here. So they do certain things, automated output, remote uh, redstone control, and reconfigurable sides. Now you can put different augmentation things in there. So let's go ahead and go to the thermal expansion. What is it, under items? I'm pretty sure it's under items. Uh, load, baby. Hello. Come on. Hello. There we go. So here are the different augmentations that you can use. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Oh, that was weird. Oh, okay. 
Well, yeah, that's just something to show you. And this pulverizer is full, and that is full too, so we want to start getting it going. Let's go ahead and grab out our iron ore, wherever it may be. There it is. So what you do is you put your ore in there. Boom. Shakalaka. And it will start pulverizing it, and it will every one ore taken will spit out two pieces of dust right there. And now some ores, when you grind it as a byproduct, that's what that uh, slot is for. So that's the nice thing about it. So, um... I think that would be it for this episode. Uh, yeah, because I can't really do anything else. So I'm just going to be sitting here pulverizing stuff. And I'll get a... I'll sort out my storage and everything on here for next episode. So it might take me a, like a day or two. But uh, hopefully the next episode will be coming out after this shortly. But I'm just going to be doing this stuff. And I will see you guys later.